let's go ahead and get into this, this next game. Precision Z versus Mocket Aces. I can't wait to see what happens. Let's go on over to the commentary desk where Wave Punk and Leaf are waiting with commentary. Take it away, guys. You know things are rough with Carpet when they're reduced to sign language over there on the desk. I want him to just be a mantelpiece for this entire set. Like, I'm <laughs> beside the ball, just looking good all the time. That's that's what we need. Just, just like, like lounging in front of the desk, like, you know, like... <laughs> I don't know. Right up here. No. When they, when but they've gotten down to those like one if by land, two if by sea. Just come out, you know, blink, blink if you're in trouble or something. Amazing, man. Okay, but we got Mocket, who we just watched play a thriller against Flipside Tactics, going mm -hmm. all the way to five games, taking the win there, taking that number one spot. But if Precision Z here can maybe bounce back at a loss to their to their to their record there, that'd be a big deal. And also for Precision Z sitting there with the two wins, they could really use this victory. Well, again, you said two wins, seven to eight. They're very close on the wins, back and mm -hmm. forth. So much win-loss, very, very close. They're a strong team. They can show up. Sometimes they don't always, but mm -hmm. they can. And against Mocket, they're really going to have to. Mocket, as we just said, uh, came off a, a crazy series against Flipside, one of the harder teams in this entire league play. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're coming in really, really warm into the series right now. Precision Z is coming in not so warm. Uh, so it's... Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be close, I think. But yeah, I think at the end, Mocket's gonna take it. We'll see how it goes with Mocket here in the orange, Precision Z in the blue. Precision Z made up of Kadop, Siki, and Skyline. Like they said on the desk, this is kind of a grudge match for the Precision Z guys, as all of their former teammates kind of split off from them and became the team here of Mocket Aces. Precision Z would love to get a bit of revenge here after having that confusion happen. All right, now it's Mocket. It. It's up on the offense. Violent Panda going to drop that one through. Didn't get it. Skyline getting bumped in goal. This opens up some space, but a good play there by Siki will send it wide. And now Devo wrapping this one around. Pashi with a nice setup. Kate up, up to Skyline. Crosses the field. And now Siki. Able to send that one into the orange. We'll see if Kadoff can get there. Now it's Devo who will win out first. He pushes that one all the way into the blue corner. Again, no one, uh, no one at the beginning finding spots out. Mocket Aces just came off a, a win against a, a hard team where they had to readapt throughout the series. Five games of adaption. They're going to have to start again with this. So they will have to feel out positions yet at the beginning before they get any real pace started up. So Skyline to Siki, a nice pass that just went under. Skyline might be able to finish Ooh. this one off. Oh, what a save by right? Pashi. Sending that one just away from the goal. And here comes Devo. He's going to push that one out. That was an incredible save. Just awareness and car control while he's in the air to be able to stop that one. Just so clutch. Pashi now setting this one up for Violent Panda. Skyline will clear it high. And send it over towards Siki. Who's continuing to carry this one towards the goal. Can Kadop get there? No, it'll be Violent Panda who gets the clear. We'll try to drop this one through. Skyline finally gets that one in, and the first blood on the board here for Precision Z. As I said it, this is a team that can show up and compete against the best. We've seen them do it before. No one in net for that one, a nice slow roller. Someone should have been there to contest it, but, I mean, they'll take it. We take those. Now Pashi. See what he can do here. The kickoff going mostly in favor of Precision Z. Siki and Kadop in the corner. Kind of switch around there and let Devo and Violent Panda try to push this one out. They get it across that midfield line. And here comes Mocket setting up on offense. Actually, it's going to be just Whoops. all Devo there on the backboard as he ties this game up. Yeah, Siki tried to go up for that, but feels backflip man as that one just rolls right past him. Good capitalization coming out from Devo as he uh, sees that Siki wasn't going up for that. 3.08 left to go. We will see how this game pans out as Skyline plays that one. Over to the side, Siki takes a shot. Can Kadop finish? No, Devo oh. shuts him down. Excellent defense from Mocket holding on right now. So they try to play this one through. Pashi in the corner there. He'll be able to pop that one high. Can Violent Panda finish this? He drops it back into the box, and Devo end up finished. Oh, oh it goes oh. off the post. So close. And Kadop will play it away. Siki in the look for the counter play now. So all three players are committed from Mocket. They're not able to get that one through. Such a, oh man, just the accuracy hurting them there. It was kind of just Devo's shot to miss, and he did. Man, oh, Kadel oh, Pashi almost plays it into his own goal, and Kadov came in to try and finish it off. Some uh, some some unfortunate plays for Mocket there. They're not really getting what they're wanting, but they will finally get the point on the board and get the lead.
I'm talking about their accuracy, but I guess it's okay when they're shooting at their own net to miss. <laughs> they transition very quickly down to the other end. Panda, Pashi working together to just put that one in hard, putting them in the lead. 2.26 left to go. Right here around halftime, we're seeing Mocket with the lead. And Devo trying to play that one through. Kadop will take a shot, and Violet Panda blocks it away. Pashi now dribbling down the line. Skyline not able to get the touch. As Pashi's able to get it past him, get it up into the corner. Now Devo and Violent Panda trying to push this one through themselves. And Siki and Kadop who end up with ball control in orange corner. They set that one out at midfield. Can Skyline come up? He tries to get the angle, but isn't quite there. Madeline even with Violent Panda right now. Pushes it through two. Siki on this back line. Take it off the hood of his teammate, which is maybe not the best of decisions as Pashi was right there to steal it. We're seeing Mocket continue to pressure this. See if they can get some points. Now Pashi putting it out to midfield. Violent Panda. Getting it up on the wall there is Kadop going to drop that one down towards Skyline. Plays it into the corner. Violent Panda continues to pressure. Pashi in the air. Gonna drop down to him. Skyline gets it over the top. Drops it towards that back box. But Diva will put it over to the side. Skyline will cross it once more. And nice, Siki takes the shot. Nice. Gets it behind the two goalies. And we got a tie game. Skyline working that up the field all by himself. Two hits. Finally getting a beautiful pass instead of rolling it in front of the net. Right out to Siki. And he finds the most perfect spot to sink one down in the back of the net. 118. Left in game number one. And it's all tied up. Can't have trying to come over the top with the cheat up. Skyline will play it into the corner. It's Pashi and Devo. Watching this one very slowly. <laughs> Skyline just kind of falls on top of Pashi. But it will be Devo who's able to get that one and send it into the corner. One minute remaining. It's all tied up. Either team could take this at this point as Skyline and Siki try to push this one out of their own half. Kadop will rotate around. Let Siki get set up in goal as Violent Panda tries to come over the top but cannot get the shot. Goes into the corner. 45 seconds left. Still anybody's game. Good attempts coming out from Maka right now. They're putting the pressure on. They're getting a very good boost rotation at that midfield line. And uh, they're just doing a good job. What a shot, though, from Panda. Great drop by Violent Panda. Siki able to make the block. Pashi sets it up on the backboard and Siki now over to the side. He and Skyline moving up together, getting it over the top of Violent Panda. 24 seconds left on the clock and Kadop has a shot towards the goal. Pashi almost drops it into his own <laughs> net and Violent Panda saves him there. Kids that one away. That would have been a brutal yeah. way to lose. That was absolutely close too because uh, Panda missed two boost grabs on the way back, trying to stay in position. Position is definitely more important than boost, but it was so close not getting to that, uh, that almost own goal there. With one second, it is in the air. Pashi will put it into the corner. What a pinch by Skyline. Wrapping it too high above the goal, and it will touch the ground. We'll have overtime in game one. It is so close. That's a good way to start it. We come off an exciting series between Mocket and Flipside, and now we get the same thing from Precision Z and Mocket. And I, I said it like Mocket, or sorry, Precision Z has the chops to stick up with the, the best of the best. Siki put this one into the corner. Kate up now, looking to pass it into the middle. Pashi to Violent Panda, it's up in the air. Doesn't quite get there. Siki and Kate up will try to wrap this one around. Devo now taking the shot, can't get it in. Kate up and Siki. Trying to push this one all the way around. Kate up will drop that, almost gets the double Ooh, wow, tap. Yeah. It's very interesting, seeing a lot of solo plays right now from Precision Z. Not as much going for just, just kind of wrapping that ball around the corners, which is, you know, it's a, it's a decent way to get it into enemy territory, but it does not materialize often into shots. And you'll see that Maka right now has ball control. So they try to push this one through. Kate up will take it, intercept that pass to Violent Panda. Now Violent Panda and Pashi both go up for that one. That could be a rough situation if Precision Z can capitalize. They're on the offense. Let's we'll see what they can do. Again, they, as you said, they're starting to just take shots at the net, um, which is good for pressure. As long as they can keep that up, they'll eventually find a breakthrough. But, I mean, Skyline had a beautiful pass before. That's something that they need to be looking out for, especially when uh, when they're in overtime all tied up. They need to find some sort of way to misdirect and break through on that offense. Violent Panda dropping out to the goal, blocked away by Skyline. It was an excellent shot, but the defense holding on right now for Precision Z. So they push this one out, 130 in the overtime. It's crossing the entire field. And it'll go back into the middle for Violent Panda. Now Skyline looking for an opportunity. Can't get the hit. And we'll go into the corner. 
Siki plays it across the midfield line. Moving up here, trying to set this one out to Kate up. Interception from Maka keeps it away. Now Pashi and Devo moving up together. They're going to fall back and let Violent Panda take the shot. Put it into the corner, see if he can set this up for either of them. Skyland lost it high for Kadop, who takes a shot towards the net. It's just Pashi in the back. He'll make the save on the long shot. Get himself a savior medal. Two minutes into overtime. It's just been a day for long overtimes, Leaf. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, not oh, complaining too much. Oh, what a play as Siki's able to get the pass and the overtime goal. That's Precision Z with the win. That's awesome. And such a hard shot, too. We see this a lot of times. Mocket has a lot of people in net. The one time they don't, Siki comes in capitalizes on a beautiful pass from Skyline. Skyline has been setting up a lot of plays for their team. Um, it's been great. They just hadn't been able to capitalize. Obviously, mm -hmm. it was tied. But, I mean, finally they do. Siki finds that hole in net. And, you know, I think that's what they have to do coming in the next series is create those holes in net because you always have three Mocket Aces members in net. It's something that was pointed out at, at the desk, and it's uh, it's so true. But finally, they break apart that defense. They find a hole in the net, and, and Siki puts it mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. It was very, very good to see the way that these guys played in this first game. All assisted goals here. All the team plays getting around. We've seen we've seen both teams play excellent right. defense, and the only way that either team was able to score was if they were passing. And we saw it there at the very end with an excellent play, sending it over to Siki as he's able to put that one in. And my goodness, I just was so impressed to watch the way Precision G comes right out of the gate. We've talked a lot in season two while the teams are kind of playing these back-to-back -back matches that the first match has always been a little bit rough, always been you know a little bit hard, especially when a team like Mocket is coming off of playing a very very hot, very high octane game against Flipside Tech. You expected them to carry that momentum over, but Precision Z is able to step up here and take the winning game one. And and we said, I mean, there's a reason that they're top eight in EU mm -hmm. in the league play in the RLCS season two right now. It's because they deserve to be here. They're a strong team. They're completely even on a lot of their stats there, but it means that they have the opportunity and those chances to beat some of the better players um, or teams considered to be better in the league play right now. But I mean, they're here for a reason and they're showing it right now. Game two set to go on Manfield. We'll see if Mocket Aces can respond to the excellent performance from Precision Z in game number one as they are currently on defense here. See Siki playing at pass two. Violent Panda moves up. He and Pashi going to pinch that one together. Not really sure what Pashi was doing there, but it gives him ball control, and he sends it towards the goal. Blocked away by his former teammate Siki. Violent Panda will drop it in. The pressure from Mocket paying off right away. Now they took their turn to find a hole in defense. A touch from Siki puts himself way out of the place. Skyline a little bit bad on his launch up to his aerial there. Panda's going to be able to squish that one past. It was either a 50-50 or a goal. Unfortunately for, uh, for them, it was a goal. 4.39 left to go. We're already seeing Mocket Aces on the board. Diva going to try and push this one out of his own half. He and Pashi moving up together here. The demo on Siki will open up a lot of space here. Skyline, trying to push that one through. Devo ends up with ball control. This is a scary moment having Devo come in on your net like that. Siki is able to get ball control, put it into the orange corner, but the pinch from Pashi will send it right back out to midfield. A nice touch from Skyline in the middle. Sends it right back down into the orange. Able to get another one on the wall. Kate up trying to drop it through. It goes back. Just back and forth between these two teams as they're both playing it with kind of the long clears into each other's halves. Either team being too aggressive at the moment. Mocket certainly going to feel OK with this, as right now they have the lead in game two. I mean, a lot of that ping pong's coming from Precision Z. They're trying to set some cherry picking plays right now to quickly break onto that uh, offense and score quickly from the transition. The issue with that is they only have two people left. So if they do get pressured, they got to clear it. And that's really their only option. Well, they've got it on the backboard. And a nice touch from Kadop will drop it in front of the net. Devo able to carry this one all by himself. Drop it into a dangerous place as Siki has to put it over to the side. Now Siki and Kadop. Pinching that one through. Can Siki finish this off? No, it'll go over to the side. Skyland will try to play this one back into the middle. Violent Panda into the corner. Kadop plays it down. It gets it past one. Not past Devo, though, who's able to turn around very quickly. Skyline gets the clear this time. 2.59 left to go. It's still 1-0 in favor of Mocket. So fun watching Devo. Like, he gets up so quick to the air. The second the ball's above him, he's up instantly so fast to the ceiling and getting shots off. It makes it so hard to win contest against him because he's usually there before you and has time to set up with an air roll. Kadop trying to push this one out. 
Gets it across the midfield line, but Violent Panda shuts him down. It'll be Skyline on the backboard. Drops oh, this one down right in goal. front of Devo. This could be bad, but Sicky will be able to contest. Put it into the corner. Violent Panda around into the net, or into the box, rather. Skyline will carry it across <laughs> midfield. If it had been in the net, the ball would have exploded. Yeah, he, uh... Like, oh. like that. See, the ball exploded there. Now it's 2-0 for Mocket. <laughs> I mean, that was a little bit rough. I, he had control of it. Skyline was moving it down. He's been a great at setting him up plays, but he loses control, and it leaves Mocket that was already at the midline to set up a good passing play between them. 218. We'll have to go here in game number two. And it is Skyline who will play it into the corner. We'll be continuing to watch this one, see if he can play it out for Kadop, who is waiting, plays it towards the goal. Precision Z looking for their first goal in game number two. Pashi getting played over the top by Kadop. What a solo play here as he gets Precision Z on the board. Oh, that's incredible. Set up once again by Skyline. Slows it down just enough to get it past Pashi. I mean, Pashi, you're a 1v1 player. You should see that. Yeah. He doesn't, puts it in the top corner. Beautiful goal from him. 2-0-1 left to go. Precision Z's got to be feeling all right. They're only down by one. Got plenty of time, about half the game here, to be able to come back. Kadop looking for the opportunity as Violent Panda drops his one towards the net. Blocked away. Can he get this through? There's Kadop and Skyline moving up quickly as Pashi on the back line. We'll send it over to the corner. Kadop trying to wrap it through. He and Pashi right there in the middle. It'll be with Devo on the side, and Kadop will contest to try and put it away. Nice touch by Skyline, putting it over the top. Dropping it back to Pashi on the back line. Now Kadop wrapping it around. See if he can get it out of his own half. Skyline, we've seen Precision Z get some really good hard clears. That's usually what sets up their good offensive plays. There's one from Siki as he's able to put it into the corner. All three players for Precision Z currently up on offense. Will be Siki passing over to Kadop. Pashi wins the 1v1, dribbles this one down. It's yeah. him against Skyline, able to put it into the middle. Devo takes the shot, and it goes high. Devo's shot's usually always on point. That one not quite finding the open goal. No, you're right. He usually is pretty accurate on that. Misses that one, uh, but they still are in the lead, and it doesn't matter with 54 seconds left. I mean, it's really up to precision C to be accurate on taking their shots. As long as Mocket isn't overcommitting, they're going to be fine. Siki on the wall. Looks to play this one out into the middle where Violent Panda will be able to put it back. The 50-50 sends it to Devo and then to Violent Panda in the corner. Can he pop this one around? A nice setup there by Devo. But again, like you said, they're not really pressuring for the goals right now. Nope. Just hanging back on defense with 30 seconds remaining. What a pinch there by Siki on the wall. No, you're right. I mean, like that, that pass before, it could have been a goal. Pashi decided to stay back. He's like, there's no need for that right now. With 20 seconds left, why would I risk it? Siki takes a nice shot. 12 seconds remaining. This is exactly where Precision Z needs to be. Siki sends that one out to the middle. Skyline towards the box, cleared away by Violent Panda. As he sends it over, Devo coming up, takes a shot, a long one, down the whole field. It will touch the ground, and Makadaces will tie up the series. There it is. I mean, such smart play at the end there. They knew they had the lead. Good synchronization there. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's actually, that's, <laughs> that's, we haven't seen many synchronized dances here at the RLCS. I like that one, even if only two players were, were con contributing. Makadace is taking the win and the Selly. Congrats mm -hmm. to them. But, uh, I mean, it, it, was, uh, it was a good game. It was a good series. Precision C kept it close, but at the end, it was, it was, they just couldn't break through. I mean, Maket has nothing to do but sit back and wait. Run that mm -hmm. clock for mm -hmm. the final minute of gameplay. Great time management at the end there, knowing that's all they had to do. It's a strategy, man. And if you can just keep a good wall, keep the ball away, just play some keep away from your opponents, that's all that matters. Uh, it's up to Precision Z at that point to push hard, create opportunities, and put it in. They just couldn't. But either way, both teams were playing very well. Good shots from both. Um, no real physical play yet. Maybe we'll see if that comes into the mm -hmm. next game. But at this point, Mocket doesn't need to because they walked away with a win. But they do have to be aware the Precision Z is going to be coming to the next game with some changes on their plate. And uh, it's going to be up to Mocket to adapt to that quickly. Yeah, and it was really good to see the way that Mocket was able to shut them down at the midfield, not allow many shots to happen. They only allowed six shots from Precision Z. Precision Z is second in shots in EU. They average eight shots a game, so they held them below their average. That sort of midfield defense point. is a great way for Mocket to play. If they can kind of shut down that constant pressure that Precision Z likes to put on, they're going to be able to continue to take the series here. It's all tied up at a game apiece. We'll see how they move forward into game number three. Right now, Violent Panda and Devo trying to push through. k 
Adop taking a shot towards the net, is not able to get there. He Pashi will be able to push this one out. Devo going that way. It'll be Violent Panda who's able to pop this one up. Let's we'll see what he can do. Can he get the shot onto the net? It goes high. Oh, and that'll be the finish there for Devo. Nice shot from Devo. This is exactly what we were saying before. When he puts them on, usually he's pretty accurate. He does get this one off the backboard. Hard spot for Skyline. Devo just taking advantage of that uh, a really difficult defensive positioning from Precision Z. 4.40 left to go. And that is the lead for Mocket. So they drop another dangerous one. Devo not quite able to get there. Violent Panda misses in the middle field, and it's Kadop getting bumped. Skyline doing some bumping onto Pashi, trying to open up some space, but Devo with a nice rotation will send that one away. He's going to try and drop this one towards his teammate Pashi, but it'll be Violent Panda who comes up off the touch from Kadop. We'll drop it back towards the box. Now Pashi in the air. Skyline was as well. The contention in the middle, looking strong. Let's see if Precision Z can push out of their own half. There's those demos I was talking about coming into, into game number three. That'll be what they need to just set them ahead just that little bit more. And uh, Precision Z is going to have to watch over that. They might get caught on their back heel a little more than they like because of that. Siki tried to clear, but Violent Panda was right there. Now Skyline. Out to the midfield. Devo watching this one will let Pashi rotate in. Keeping that pressure on, doing the same thing they did last game, not even allow Precision Z to get out of their own half. Violent Panda trying to push this through. Drops right down here. Skyline will be able to send that one up for Siki, who takes a shot towards the net, blocked away by Devo. Very high-flying game here as Violent Panda will be able to send that one back into the blue. We're seeing Mocket up on offense once more as they drop one, a dangerous one here. Siki pinches it away from the goal. Mocket going to continue to try and pressure in the blue half. Devo has a shot opportunity. It goes high again. That's the second time we've seen Devo miss this series. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's going to happen inevitably. You're not going to hit 100% of your shots. That'd be a crazy stat. Pashi, though, yeah. trying to hit that one. Very close one. Skyline will pinch that one over to the side. On oh, a nice touch there by Devo. Can't quite get it through. Siki sends it over to the side. Now he's going to be able to send that one deep into the orange as they look for their first goal here. Violent Panda sending that one over. It's Skyline now looking for opportunities. As k drops this one to Pashi. He takes oh. a shot but can't quite get it. And Skyline send this one down the line. k able to put that one over and into the corner. We'll see. How Mocket is able to respond here. A nice play there by Devo. Crossing halftime, and it's still just 1-0 in favor of Mocket. Yeah, but the shots are way more in favor of Mocket right now as opposed to Precision Z. They're getting caught on their back heel too much. We said might happen, and I just got to watch. If they start to falter a little bit, that could be the end of the story for them. Mocket is moving really well right now. All their passing plays upfield are so smooth. Siki, watch this one in the middle. Tried to play that one into the orange, but shut down by the entire Mocket team here. Is Violent Panda going to try and drop one more in? Can't get the touch as Siki plays it off that backboard. 50-50 goes in favor of Pashi, and he'll keep the pressure on. But Skyline able to get there, over to Siki, into the corner. Demo into Kadop. That's going to be a big deal as Kadop was that third rotation to come in and try and take the shot, and now he'll be spawning in the back. That leaves the ball control back in favor of Mocket as they have an opportunity to score again. Oh bouncing off of two players from Precision Z. Doesn't go in just yet. We'll see what Pashi and Violent Panda do here in the middle. They're trying just to play that one around the Precision Z team. And Kadop will be able to pick it up in the middle. Plays this one slow. Pops it in the middle. Siki takes a shot off oh the backboard. No. Kadop looking for an opportunity. Back passes here to Skyline. Final minute of gameplay, still only one goal, and it's on the side of Mock at Precision Z looking to tie it up. Precision Z got so close there, Sicky, if he just turned his nose down, might have actually had a shot, at least on that, maybe saved, but at least on that. And every once in a while, these demos coming in, as soon as they try to get offensive pressure, Mock shuts it down instantly. 40 seconds remaining. As Kato tries to push this one through, it's over to the side. Kato. Setting that one high for Siki, who looks for an opportunity. It'll be Skyline, who goes up first. 30 seconds remaining in game number two. Or game number three, rather. So both teams have taken a win here. Precision Z wanting to get that lead back, but Mocket also fighting hard. 
Seeing if they can get up to the two-point lead, the two-game lead. And now Devo in the corner with the final countdown. He can just slow this all the way down. They don't need any more points. Oh, and it sneaks past Siki. That's going to buy so much time as he just tried his, to get this one back around. They're going to have to keep it in the air. Ooh. As Devo's just going to let this one touch, and that is going to be Mock and Aces with the two games in a row getting Precision Z on match point. Whether calculated or not, that was really nice to, to miss that aerial at the end there for, uh, for Mock it because it bought them a little more time to be able to set them down. Precision Z was looking in that zero second to get another goal, and they were looking for that aerial hit to touch. Really smart play at the finish there to finalize himself a win uh, in game number three, and now they're set ahead with match point. This is a lot harder than I think Mocket Aces thought it would be, especially mm -hmm. coming off of a win, uh, you know, from flip side. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm sure they did not expect Precision Z to put up as much of a fight. Yeah, no, but Precision Z tied there for that number four spot before this. Definitely one of the top four teams in Nor in Europe. In Europe, yes, Ooh. in Europe. Um, and I liked what you were saying there at the end about Pashi and the way he went up for that hit. And yeah, maybe it wasn't a calculated miss, but. It, w it was so critical because, yes, they're trying to keep the ball in the air, so they see Pashi going up. They know they're not contesting. What does Precision Z do? They fall back. They, they hang in a spot where they're expecting the pass to come down or they're expecting the touch from Pashi to come down, but then it didn't exist, and it was just like, oh, well, now we're completely out of position. It was super easy for Devo just to put it on the ground and make that just completely end the game there. Really, really heads-up play in a way you wouldn't usually expect there from Pashi. Well, I mean, it, and it's also starting to look a little gr grim. I mean, that was... Mm -hmm. Pretty offensive heavy in, in the favor of Mocket Aces in that last one. And that could start to overwhelm them coming to this last one. You know, Precision Z might start to be tiring out at this point and getting a little overwhelmed. Or they could come into this one and just flip a switch and say, all right, guys, we know what we need to do now. Um, but, I mean, Mocket was looking a little bit strong in that last game. They were. They've been looking strong two games in a row now. They've got Precision Z on match point. What will it be here? Siki tries to push that one around. He's got it lofted. Skyline might be able to get there. He flips a bit too much and won't be able to get in the air. <laughs> Tebow, what are you doing? <laughs> Just carrying that one down. He's leaving some time for his teammates to move out. Nobody in the backfield. If Skyline can get this angle, sends it away. Pashi did realize what was happening and fell back immediately. Now Diva with the dribble. Pushing this one through. He's got it up onto the backboard. Might be able to finish this off himself. It's Siki who sends it to the side, though. And then Skyline picks this one up, sends it over the top of Pashi. Violent Panda sends that one towards the neck. Can he finish it uh, off? He does. An excellent play from Violent Panda, punishing the poor defensive positioning. Yeah, a bit of a misread by the last defender. Then it was Siki who uh, thought, or it was K Dot, thought it was going to roll up. But instead, it just comes straight back out. No mistake of his, really. That's hard to read off this corner. And Violent Panda follows it through nicely. 4.24 left to go. And again, Mocket Aces leading early in game number four. It's important for Precision Z to get the win here. If they lose this one, it's all over against Mocket Aces, and Mocket will have two game, a, a, a two series win for week three. Devo gonna look for this one in the air, play that one down towards Kadop. Ian Skyline moving up here. A nice angle towards the goal. Pashi misses, but Siki's not gonna be able to have an angle on that one. Pitches out to the midfield. Skyline in the air. Upfield of the ball. Interesting positioning. Stevo sends one towards the oh. net, going just <laughs> off the post and rolling up. Unfortunate there for Precision Z. Two goal lead now for Mocket. That's just an incredible usage of a pinch there. That's exactly what we talked about a few games ago. It's good. The ball is going to exit between those two cars at a calculated spot. And if you can control that spot, it's going to go to the net. All he had to do is send it towards the net in a likely chance of scoring. 3.47 left in game number four. Mocket Aces with the lead in the series and in the game. And just hold on, they'll be able to finish it off Ooh. and end week three in style. Skyline k -Dop trying to set this one up now, see if they can position something for Siki. Pashi plays that one straight back down to Violent Panda. Plays it over the top of Skyline. Nice little 1v1 situation here for Violent Panda as he dribbles it around. Pops it out to Diva, who gets the angle onto the net. Kadop gets the save. Very impressive play there by Kadop, countering that aggression from Mocket Aces. Devo continues to set this one up, but finally the clear comes through from Siki and Skyline. Very close one there for Precision Z. Yeah, that was tough. That was way tighter than Precision Z probably wanted in their own end. Really good heads up, uh, short team passing plays coming up from Mocket. That flip from Pashi was pretty, making it a three-goal game. There you go. Nice uh, pinch in favor of them, and uh, just a nice little finish there to put it in. Not sure if someone maybe is in net, as he probably had the ball cam on, but mm -hmm. either way, it was going in. 
Makades is up three. Yeah, keeping that keeping that shot placement was was great there from Pashi. Even though you know there wasn't anybody back, but you maybe didn't quite yeah. know that. It was just like let's just let's well, just make sure keep it up they, high. Had they been back, it would have been a misdirect. Yep. So they are playing that one very well right now here at halftime. We're seeing Makades is with a three goal lead. Seki trying Whoa. to cut that one down right now. If they were going to start scoring, now's the time to do it. Right here at halftime. Diva tries to drop that one through, can't get it. Almost had the fake out on him, but Kate up in the air. Will lose out to Pashi as he puts it into the corner. Skyline watches as Siki gets set up in net. He'll be the first one to play this one out. Getting it past Pashi, playing it up as Devo falls far back. Stealing all the boost right in front of, I think it was Kate up who's making that drive. Now Skyline on the walls. Violent Panda drops that one over into the box. Skyline plays it away, but Devo keeps the pressure on. Maki just not allowing Precision Z any breaks here. Devo's just so mechanically good, man. Watching from his camera angle, just incredible just seeing him move around the field. So fun to see, but I mean, yeah, three up now, two minutes left. They just have to kind of employ that same, uh, that same tactic and strats that they had coming into the other game. Just run the clock down at this point. Pashi. Playing it back to Violent Panda. Now he's getting that one up in the air, but isn't quite there. Devo wanting to play it into the corner, but it'll be Kate up and Skyline who are able to push it back out. And now nice. Pashi with an opportunity. Can't get it through Skyline. Keeps that one high. Mockett's still just looking so aggressive right now on offense. They almost drop another one in. With 1.15 left to go, this is exactly what Mockett needs to take the win. Look at these soft passing plays when they're on offense in their opponent's box. It's just so hard for Precision Z to keep up with at the back and forth. It's too much for that ball cam. And uh, they're getting so close to scoring opportunities. Sicky. Not touch that one and let Kadop push it around. Now Skyline taking a shot towards the uh. net. Got it past Pashi. And that is the first goal. They need two more. Bit of a missed call on Pashi's part there. He was in net. But a good, powerful shot leaves it hard to react. Nice, Dominus nose on that from Skyline. And there's uh, there's one step closer. And they, they need two more like that just to force overtime and to stay alive in the series. 48 seconds is a hard comeback. But it is possible here. As Pashi plays that one up high. Siki misses, and Devo plays it into the corner. Violent Panda continues to pressure this one up. He's in the air, can't oh. quite drop it down. Siki will play that one out. 30 seconds remaining in the game as Kadop tries to push it at the midfield line. Skyline now in the air, drops it to Siki, who puts it back over to the side. Skyline now, can he set this one up? Pashi reads it on the wall and just shuts it, does not allow it to move anywhere. Kadop will fall back. Devo plays it into the middle, over to Pashi, who tries to push one more in, just put the nail in the coffin here. But as the final countdown is happening, we're gonna hit the one second, you can't score two with no time on the clock. And that will be Mockett Aces with the three game run. They drop game one and then two through four, it's all Mockett. There you have it folks, Mockett Aces running through Precision Z, not a complete sweep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Precision Z, uh, Valiant effort. I mean, the games were fairly close. They kept Mocket Aces thinking. It wasn't cakewalk at all for Mocket Aces. Um, and, you know, it was a fun series to watch. They just got trapped in their own net a little bit more than mm -hmm. they probably would have. They could not find any opportunity to break up for a counterattack. Absolutely, and it was, we saw exactly that, what you're saying, the precision he held to just four shots, half of their average of eight. We've seen Mockett completely trapping them in their own half, not allowing any shots to materialize on the net. The way that they were just able to completely dominate the game, have all the ball control here. The top score we saw from KDOP was 165. That was the highest score on the Precision Z side. Lowest score on Mockett's was 170. These guys with all the ball control, just doing so much more ball touching than Precision Z is. And that's gonna give them the win here and the two series win in week number three. The way that they were able to play was very impressive for Mockett. We'll send it back over to the desk with Axel Toss and the boys. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Wave Punk and Leaf. Good job, Mockett Aces. Nice 3-1 there over Precision Z. That's their second win of the day, which is nice. It puts them up to 5-1 and one, uh, in sole possession of first place in the standing. Let's take another look at that one and see how Mockett made it happen over Precision Z. Precision Z looked really good in the first game. They actually got... 
12 shots on the board, and it was all Skyline uh, in game one. He got the first goal for them, and then two beautiful setups uh, to Siki to get the game winner right here in two minutes, and what was it, 15 seconds into overtime. Great job by them, but they just couldn't keep the momentum going because then Mocket just turned it on. Uh, after that game, Precision Z never got more than six shots per game. They had six shots in game two, uh, six shots in game three, and only four in game four, while Mocket uh, just, just kept pounding the net. They had eight shots, 10 shots, and 10 shots. And you just can't stop Devo and Pashi for too long. Devo is a god. Pashi, we already know he's a god, but now there's two gods on this team and Violent Panda is probably like, hey, what about me, what about me? But Violent Panda did really well as well. And Precision Z just couldn't keep up after that first game. The momentum, they couldn't keep it and Maka just took it. To Remember, um, top two in the standings, automatically goes to the grand finals. Maka Aces well on their way to having one of those spots. Um, Northern Gaming right now is four and one. I gotta ask you, uh, Gibbs, Mocket Aces, they're showing pr some pretty serious play, the 3-2 over flip side tactics. Are they establishing themselves as the best in Europe? Is it absolute now, or what do you think? I think it's pretty close to saying, like, like say I was on power rankings, I would give them number one right now. They beat both Flipside and Northern Gaiman so far like in this season. They have not uh, like guaranteed a top two spot yet, just because of three-way tiebreakers yep. does not uh, go into head-to-head. -head. So that is still possible, uh, but they are looking really strong. And at five and one, they're most likely going to land now. Yeah. They just need to get one more quality win and they're in for sure. But like Devo is the surprise of the year. Like he's been playing absolutely insane. He's probably the MVP of the season. Uh, 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 but saying that only if they go six and one, like if they drop a game, who knows? Right. But Devo has been a beast. So Market Aces, the dump for the day. Um, they will be back next week where they have one match, one more match against Reunited to close out the regular season. Um, seems pretty likely that they can win that one. So uh, that'll be very exciting to watch. Coming up next, we have Precision Z versus Red Eyes. A very important match. Uh, both of these teams have two wins. Uh, and right now, that's where the bubble is for the EU standings. Again, top six out of eight to go to the regional playoffs. So stay tuned. Coming up, Red Eye versus Precision Z, the last match of the day. We'll be right back.